my god so I'm going to be doing a follow-up video of my of my Zala hair extensions in the color ice cream platinum blonde 30 inches um, unfortunately my video cut off because I, I had limited storage so I'm gonna make a follow-up video now about how I feel about them uh, less than a day later so I will say when it came to the color of the extensions um, first first off let me say when I unboxed them I was kind of appalled by the color I ordered ice cream platinum blonde and this does not look platinum blonde to me this looks silver to me not even silver this looks gray this looks like a Timberwolf gray color if any of you watch Trisha Paytas on YouTube it she did a music video called lost and found and this literally looks like her her hair color in lost and found it may not look it because of the lighting and I'm gonna get to the lighting later um, because I don't know what your example I don't know what everyone else's example platinum is but this is what I expect platinum to be this this is very white this is this looks very white this is what I think of platinum this is silver to me. This is not platinum blonde. This is not ice cream platinum blonde to me. This looks silver. I expected this to probably be like an Elsa white from Frozen, but this is not even an Elsa white. This is like a gray color. This is not even silver, and this is gray. And the thing is, of course, like when you get the Bellamy, of course, when I use the Bellamy extensions, of course, the beach blonde, they come up kind of golden and yellow and warm. You can always tone them to make them more ashy, more platinum. But with this... I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should either bleach them, tone them, or see if I could use a um, hair detoxifying shampoo to take out. Because I'm pretty, I'm a thousand percent sure that this is not natural. Because of course, with the, when it comes to the blonde colors and the gray and the the gray color, there had to be something put in it because no one not of course it, or there, I don't know this. I know that this isn't real. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, they say it's human hair, but this is processed human hair because there's no way that this color can come out of a human unless if like, because of course people age, people gray, but this does not look like the typical gray hair of natural, um, you know, gray hair. This looks processed. So I don't know whether I should see if I could use a clarifying shampoo to probably take out the toner in there. If there is a toner or if it's permanent color, I don't know what to do. I've never come across this situation before because, of course, I thought they were going to be white, but they're not white. These are fucking gray to me. And in this lighting, they look so gray. And, of course, right now they may look like they blend because I know how to blend extensions to a certain extent. Like, right now, there's a there's a part of my hair seeping through. And, like, I could see it. Like, right, I don't know if you could see it. Like, see? You could see that right there. So I have to, like, cover it with this. Um, and when I feel the extensions, these extensions feel very, they could have a lot more hair in here. Like, honestly, they say these are 300 grams. My Bellamy extensions are 340 grams. And these are probably twice the size of this ponytail. Like, like the, the, the Bellamy extensions are probably twice, twice the, the density of this. And like I said, for me, someone who has thick hair, I need all the, I need all the fucking hair that I can get. And without, like, of course, to get maybe the full effect, I could probably buy two packs, but that's going to be six, almost $700, and I'm not going to be spending $700 on hair extensions. I just want a thick pack that costs is $300 or less. That's it. Um, and like I said, for me, this is something that I had to do for the first time, and um, I actually had to braid a section of my hair off because if I don't, the extensions look super thin and, um, like, why not wiry but they look they just look so wispy because all my hair is just going to come seeping through here and it's going to be even harder to blend them because you're going to see all my natural hair coming through and you can still see my natural hair coming through and with the bellamy extensions they blended nicely and yes my hair's like of course i would notice when my hair was when my hair's platinum when my hair's like this white it's kind of hard to blend the bellamy extensions a little bit but it tends to seep through with this this is just straight up gray and i have no clue what to do with this and like I said, the length is absolutely beautiful. It reaches up to my, up to my, um, it reaches up to my hips, which I absolutely love. I, this is my, like, I wouldn't mind the density or I wouldn't mind how thin these are if it was the right color, if the color wasn't misleading. Because honestly, like I said, for me, when I think of platinum blonde, I think of like this. I think of white. I don't think of fucking gray. This is straight up gray to me. If you look look at that like that's gray this is this is platinum to me this is gray like I don't get what's so hard about getting like I don't 
know. Like, why are these shit so misleading? And of course, like I knew when I purchased them what I was getting myself into, but I'm gonna see what I can do about these because these extensions are beautiful. I would like there to be more hair in here because I feel like I'm suffering from alopecia right now, but like yeah, and like I said, these do not blend that well. I just kind of have I just kind of know how to blend them because if if I push on my hair forward, you can see. Look at that. Like look how that is. This is platinum to me. I don't know, like, this is what I think platinum is. This is gray. Like, I don't know if this blends well, but if you look at that, that's gray. This is platinum to me. But like I said, I kind of, like, like I don't know. It's just so fucking gray to me. And, like, even with silver, silver would blend a little bit better, but to me, this just looks fucking gray to me. If you look at that. And I can't even wear my hair like this because, of course, my extensions you could see everything. So of course, like I said, I have little tips and tricks. This is one of my signature looks that I could do. I want to play it off like this is kind of like a sombre and ombre type of look where the, you know, you know, because look, okay. So now I'm going to show you how the hair looks in different lighting. So look, if you look, the hair tends to, it looks like it blends pretty well in this light. But if I take my hair out, if you kind of look at that, you can kind of see where my, oh, it actually blends pretty well. But let me get to the other lighting. So, can you see my real hair? And if you look right here, see, look, this is yellow, okay? But look at, let's see, this platinum color. Look how that looks compared to that. And like I said, if I push my hair out, and can you look at that? Like, why does this look, does anybody else see like a lavender tint to this? And like I said, it's so weird to me because it look like if I push all my hair out, like, look at that. Look how gray that looks. Does this not look gray to you? This is not platinum to me. This is platinum. Like this, this is all platinum. This shit is like, this is like, it, this looks fucking purple. And the thing is that with different lighting, I checked. With different lighting, let me show you from this angle. Wait, like, hold on. Let me show you from this angle. If you look at the hair, it looks, my hair looks very just yellow compared to this. This, oh wait. This is not Ice Queen Platinum Blonde, people. Look at that. That looks fucking Grandma White. That, that looks Grandma Silver. Or it's Grandma Gray. Look at that. Compared to my hair. Okay, I want to, if anybody watches this video, let me know. Do you think that this is platinum, this color, like this? Do you think this is platinum or this is platinum? Let me know because this looks super gray to me. And when I put it towards the sunlight, it gives a very weird like purple look. And it's so strange to me. And like, I like, this is one lighting. This is another lighting that it, the extensions look like they blend a little bit better. And then, this is the lighting that I think is the best for me. If you look, it kind of, I kind of like the look that it's giving out right now. Because it kind of, like I said, I could probably pass it to be like an ombre, like a sombre type of look. But if I, you, if I go to my living room, do you see that? Look how fucking purple these look. These look straight up purple. Like, and these don't even match my hair at all. Look at that. And is this like, is this fluorescent lighting? I don't know what lighting this is, but it, like these extensions are making my hair look fucking purple. The, this isn't platinum blonde. This is platinum blonde. This, to me, this is platinum blonde. And of course this looks yellow, but like that looks platinum to me. This, this on the other hand looks purple. And it's so weird because it's just like, if I'm out and in, in the sunlight and it hits like this, like this is just ugly. I don't want to have purple hair. I can deal with the silver like or the gray color, but I can't deal with fucking purple hair. And like I said here, look at that. Look how that changes. Purple. Silver. What the fuck is this bullshit? Like, look at that. That's a beautiful, like, I think it blends well. But if you look in person, like... Look at that. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I think this is platinum blonde. This is silver. Gray. 
And I'm telling you, I'm not, like, I'm, I'm using my iPhone to record this. I'm not doing any weird, like, fucking lighting differences. But look at this. This is gray, okay? This is gray, if you look now. And I go to my living room. And it's fucking purple. What is this bullshit? And, like, this, it was really, and, like, okay, here's another thing. I'm in my, I'm in the kitchen. Okay, I'm in my kitchen, and then let me go to my bathroom. And it turns it purple again. And if I turn here, you can see how purple these extensions look. I don't know what the fuck is in these extensions. I don't know if they used a toner. I don't know. Like, look at that. That looks straight purple to me. Of course, my hair looks very gold here. But, like, in certain lightings, my hair looks platinum. But, like... Please tell me, is this ice cream platinum blonde? Because this is an ice cream platinum blonde. This is fucking... Sorry, I got 20%. I'm sorry, but this shit is not... And like I said, like for me, it's like... I don't know. I wouldn't mind the... I don't mind the fucking density count of this hair. I don't give a fuck. Because I wanted this mainly for the length. And like I said, this is not platinum blonde. This is fucking purple to me. It looks like someone dumped a fucking, fucking grape wine juice on my fucking hair or some shit. Like, this does not look fucking, like, tell me, were the people who made this colorblind? Because I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind. I don't know. But for me, this doesn't look like platinum blonde to me. This isn't platinum blonde. And like I said, I'm not mad. I'm just very just like, why do you feel the need to mislead someone? about the color content because like I said um I took a fucking colorblind test and I passed so I mean yeah I took if I took a test whether I'm colorblind or not and I passed and I'm not colorblind so I don't know what the fuck this is and I turn to my mirror here they they kind of look less purple but like it's so weird to me and if, let's see look at how purple that shit looks like hold on let me clean my camera that looks fucking purple and I don't know like look at how bad that looks and you can see all my hair look like I wouldn't mind if it okay the gray I can deal with the gray I can deal with but when it looks purple in this lighting it's what is this and if I push on my hair back like look how oh. and I can't even push my hair back because look how that looks with my Bellamy extensions I could do this fine and of course like my hair was more like a platinum blonde color because if you look here, this looks more platinum. See, this is platinum. My hair was a lot more platinum. And it kind of seemed through. And of course, like, look at that. Look how bad that looks. From this angle, it looks gray. From this angle, it looks purple. I don't get this. And, like, I don't know if, like, the undertone of this hair is purple. But I'm just, like, so appalled by how this can look. I, it's so crazy to see how different the, this hair can look in different lighting because here I think it looks great You know, of course, it's not my it's not my actual color because this is platinum to me This is platinum to me. This is great to me. So the fact that this This I can do, I can live with this honestly I you know, I can I can go to sleep at night knowing that if I have this hair I'll live, you know, I'll live with this hair but it's just Hold on, let me fix this because my natural hair is showing. I can live with this hair, but I can't live with this hair. And like I said, I'm still appalled. I'm probably rambling at this point, but it's just like, how do you expect me to believe this is Ice Queen Platinum Blonde when the model that you were showing, there's a video from Zala Hair Extensions that show a model trying on the different lengths, like 14 inches, 16 inches, 20 inches. Sh fucking shit didn't look purple to me. That shit looked platinum white. That, and that's what I thought. The woman in the video looked like she was rocking white hair. Like, of course, not this. My hair's kind of yellow now, but like in the lighting, kind of like this. She kind of looked like she was rocking this, if not lighter. She wasn't rocking pr uh, purple extensions, nor was she rocking gray extensions. She, it looked like she was wearing platinum blonde extensions, uh, like uh, platinum as in Plat I, what I mean by platinum is you lift the hair to a level 10, pale yellow, you use an ash gloss or toner, and then you 
and then you leave and you leave it on and it gets rid of and the violet counteracts with the ye pale yellow tones and it takes out the yellow and then you're left with white platinum non-pigmented hair like this this is gray to me look at this this is gray 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 now we're heading on to purple look how purple this looks and I'm not sure if this is fluorescent lighting or indecescent lighting. I don't know this fucking lighting situation, but I don't know if anybody else has dealt with this with Z uh, Zala hair extensions. But like I said, I was so excited to try them. And like I said, I'm not mad. I'm just kind of like, like I call bullshit when bullshit is called. And I call bullshit now because you cannot sit here and tell me that this is platinum blonde. This isn't. This looks silver to me. And like I said, I know I can live with wearing these as gray because I can I can kind of I could kind of play with it and say that this is like a an a sombre that I this was intentional that this wasn't meant to match my actual hair but what I can't do is be out in the sunlight and there to be the sun hitting me and my hair my hair extensions looking fucking purple it's just so weird to me and uh, on lighting that's more like this like that doesn't have warm tone. Like, I feel like when the lighting has warm tones in it, that's when it starts to look uh, purple. And I don't know what to do. Um, tell me if anybody has ever experienced this with their hair extensions from Zala. Because for me, I, I'm fairly new to Zala. And like I said, my Bellamy extension has never done this to me. And I don't know if it's just a color in this that's making it do this. If this is a toner, if I could remove it. I don't know. But anyway... My uh, my story is about to end. So anyway, until next time, bye.